professional. You work hard for your money. Stop blowing it on trash. Hey there, my hands up, my pretty little cobras. I'm gonna go back to the cobras nest for those of you who are new. My name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalism videos. So today I got seven things that I want to talk about that are minimalism New Year's goals or things that you can implement to help your new year be banging and leaving behind all that clutter and baggage in 2023. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Boo. Okay, so I'm gonna address two things. Yes, one, my voice is completely messed up. I'm recovering from a cold. Second, I tried growing out my natural brows. I have very thick brows for my old subbies when I used to have brows that I didn't used to overpluck them. I tried going back to that. I thought it would make me look more youthful. <laughs> I don't look youthful at all. It doesn't really look good. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Comment down below, would you guys prefer to prefer my natural brow or should I make it like a bit more plucked and thin it's up to you guys whatever you guys prefer like it makes no difference to me you guys have to look at my face okay so let's go into number one experiences over stuff this is a really big one i definitely got sweat up in the material accumulation in 2023 2023 was my year of abundance but i think moving forward especially now that we have been leaving the pandemic behind we can definitely stop I'm not saying completely but we can move away from the material accumulation i know we were stuck in our rooms for a really long time but we finally have the freedom to go out and hang out with our friends and live our best life. So I think that we don't have to place as much importance on, on accumulating material possessions. We can definitely focus on having a lot more experiences. That could be riding your bike, going to the museum, going to the movies. It doesn't have to involve money. It could literally just be reading your favorite book. It can be anything that doesn't involve accumulating more stuff. Okay, number two, speaking of stuff, no more clutter. We're leaving clutter behind in 2023. We're moving into the new year clutter free. We're gonna finally get rid of those things that were your maybe piles, the things that you said, well, like, honestly, I might come back to it. If it's been months, if it's been years, be truly honest with yourself. I think you can let go of some of those things, especially because my demographic is a lot older. You guys have heard of the 20 rule like if it takes 20 dollars to replace it or 20 minutes to replace it and you're not using it you can let it go obviously there's some aspects of minimalism that are very elitist like getting rid of stuff and replenishing it and that may not be financially feasible for everyone i fully recognize that but within the realm of reason you don't need as much clutter as you think you do like let's be real that clutter doesn't make you feel good i know firsthand i didn't feel good in all my clutter when I started shopping like crazy, at first I was loving the abundance. As the months went by though, the clutter kind of started to irk me. And I was like, as somebody who used to be an extreme minimalist, this much amount of stuff didn't make me feel good. So I think one of the things we can do in 2024 is definitely reduce the clutter. Okay, number three, long wish lists. I think this one is really important. I'm a big proponent for wish lists. I think they help with intentional shopping. I'm not a big believer in impulse purchases. I sleep on purchases for a couple months, but I think long wish lists need to go. You need to be very intentional with your shopping this year. You can have like your top three or four items. We don't need wish lists that are 20 items long. We don't need wish lists that involve multiple shoes, multiple bags, multiple makeup products. Not one of those one things is going to fix your life in the way that you think that it will. I know it seems like your life's going to be over if you don't buy X, Y, and Z. I know because I have that relationship with shopping. I legit feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll be human and expose myself. I completely know the feeling, but I think that we don't need these long wish lists. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Be intentional. You work hard for your money. Stop blowing it on trash. Okay, number four. We're gonna unfollow people, okay? It's January or February. It's whenever this video goes up, go through your list and unfollow people who are not serving you. It's not that you hate them. It's not that they're bad people and you don't wanna see them. It's not that. This is about you right now and about your mental health and your well being. If someone is not serving you, that's okay. You can unfollow them. You can always come back to them at a later time. But you know who I'm talking about. Those people, when you see their stuff, it either triggers jealousy, triggers resentment, triggers hate, triggers negative emotions. We don't need that in 2024. So go through your Instagram, go through your YouTube, go through your TikTok, unfollow people who right now are not serving your life. 
you can always come back to them later. Okay, number five, a clean closet. This is so, so, so key and so important. I never used to believe in how important closets were because I kind of lived out of a luggage. So like, I didn't really understand. But truth be told, a clean closet, it's a, it's a reflection of your mental state, your mental well-being. If you're not feeling 100%, I'm pretty sure it's because your closet is not looking good and call me crazy and tell me like I'm not making any sense but I don't care this is a hill I will die on a clean closet is very very important for your mental health whatever stuff you throw in there thinking I'm gonna come back to it and wear it later it shoved in your closet is not going to make you want to wear it more your closet needs to breathe your closet needs to stop being stuffed to the brim with who knows what Give your closet a good out clean. I'm not saying you got to check and get rid of everything in there. We just need to clean the closet out. Okay, number six. Speaking of closets, a capsule wardrobe. I think in 2024, we need to make a capsule wardrobe a thing again. TikTok's hyperconsumption was absolutely insane. I definitely bought more things than I should have. And I'm pretty sure you guys did too. Because if I, a minimalist, was on TikTok, I can only imagine what the average person would be like. We've all definitely bought stuff on impulse, not blaming TikTok. Maybe it was YouTube, maybe it was Instagram, whatever it was. It is time to bring back the capsule wardrobe. I know minimalism is out. I know it's not popular. I know it's chuggy with the Gen Z, but seriously, a capsule wardrobe is really important. I'm not saying you need a Steve Jobs type of wardrobe. You don't need to wear all black. You don't need to wear all white but something that is curated, something that makes you feel good, something that lets you know that your closet is there to support you. And when you open it, you feel joy when you put on your pieces. It doesn't have to be an extreme closet either. We're not going for extremes here, but I think a capsule wardrobe would definitely be right on point to something to work towards this year. Okay, and number seven, health over material possessions. There's been plenty of times I have skipped working out this year because I just wanted to go on TikTok. Granted, I don't have the healthiest relationship with working out. I'm kind of addicted to working out. So for me, it's pretty healthy to take a break. But generally speaking, there's been times where maybe I took the break a little too long. I think we can stop scrolling so much on Instagram and on TikTok and we need to put a little bit more time to our health. Our health is really important. Your body is the only house you'll ever live in. You may change houses, but you can never change bodies. It is really important to take care of your health. It's very important to take care of your body. So I think that in 2024, let's make our health and our body a priority this year. If we have to cut from other things so that maybe you work less but you take care of your health or you just make sure you need to do what you need to do to take care of your health or put more money towards it, I think that that's always a good investment because your health is everything. Health is wealth. If you've ever been sick, as I am right now, what I wouldn't give, maybe a hundred bucks or 20 bucks just to have my voice back for this video. Health is wealth. So let's not sleep on that this year. So those are the seven things that we're taking from us from a minimalist perspective to make the new year just banging. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.